The following program contains images that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Silicon Valley has a dark secret. By day, it's the center of the tech universe. An upscale, latte-driven corporate haven run by high-powered techies. By night, it's a whole different world few ever get to see. Welcome to Fight Club. Tonight, G4 breaks the first rule as we take our cameras underground. You can't just walk in from the street. I mean, they, they don't let that kind of thing happen. It's not something I'm ashamed of, but most people don't really get it. You'll meet the overly educated brainiacs who feel the need to release their inner caveman. I work in the corporate world, and that's fine, uh, but that's not me. I fight because it makes me feel like I don't have any responsibility. You feel oddly free while, while swinging back and forth on someone. Ordinary computer jockeys and cubicle drones rage against the machine in all-out brawls that often end in blood, broken bones, and worse. I couldn't move. I pretty much paralyzed for about two days. We head to the wrong side of the tracks, to the last place you'd ever expect to find an IT guy, the East Bay Raps Motorcycle Club, where techies are dead men walking. These guys are for real, you know. They're just like the Hells Angels. I mean, you really don't mess with them. The Rats' hardcore fight party brings out the beast in one veteran techie. <laughs> and something else in a first-timer. I do not want to get my ass kicked. But first, we meet Silicon Valley's Tyler Durden. The founder of the Gentlemen's Fight Club, a group of 15 corporate guys who beat the crap out of each other. The average untrained man has about 30 seconds of all out, full on fight in them. After that, the toast. There's no rules and no crying to mommy. I was doing okay until he figured out how to use the hose. Fights end when a guy taps out <laughs> or passes out. It's a brotherhood of blood, bruises, and too much testosterone. How do you become a man? I don't know. This is a transformation for guys that have just been raised in a feminine world. It's one night, two clubs, when G4 investigates Tech Fight Clubs. tomorrow but uh, tonight's a uh, fine night we'll see how many fights I uh, feel like doing tonight maybe four or five we'll see who wants to fight when and uh, take it from there um, so we're getting pretty close to the fight location and we can't really have it on film so we need to ask you to stop Welcome to the Gentlemen's Fighting Club. Uh, fights are typically one minute, but they can go on until, say, uncle. We've had some 10-minute fights. Watch your takedowns. You could hurt yourself more than the person that you're taking down. Uh, we fight with weapons. Expect cuts, scrapes, bumps, bruises, injury, possibly death. Uh, if that's too much with you, just go to the side and watch. Let's get it on. Three brass rods wrapped around a magazine. Martha Stewart living versus Oprah. Personally, I go with Martha. 
Let's get it on. Oh, My name is William Crosby Lundin. I'm a storage administrator for a website. Most of the time I'm looking at a computer and if I'm talking on the phone, it's probably about computers as well. Fixing something or walking someone through how to fix something. Probably take a while to do, but um, it, sh it shouldn't be hard. It'll just, you know, it'll just take some time. When I'm not working, I play a lot of games. Halo, World of Warcraft. Play board games, card games. Also play Dungeons and Dragons. I only take another one. We do kind of keep the Fight Club as a separate area of our lives, um, at least for me. And it's not something I'm ashamed of, but most people don't really get it. I've gotten lucky in the uh, injuries that I've gotten that most of them have been able to be hidden by a long sleeve shirt. Just roll down the sleeves and, and nobody sees. All the fighters that come to the Fight Club are from Silicon Valley, from San Francisco down to San Jose. Um, everyone that I know is a cube jockey. They sit in front of a computer all day. I fought everybody, um, anybody who's come in the last year and a half. I'm obviously not in the best shape of anybody ever. I could lose 40 or 50 pounds, I smoke a pack a day, and eat a little bit too much fast food. So I'm not in this to be the ultimate badass to prove myself against other people or anything like that. I'm just in it because I love it. I think everybody has to have an outlet, something like this, to be really happy. I think for a lot of people, it's sports. Maybe you get the same kind of thing in playing football. I've never really been into sports like that, so I don't know. But for me, this is a completely necessary thing. Every time you go in, you expect, I'm gonna get bruised up, you get some serious marks from the sticks, and maybe something worse, you could get seriously injured. So that's something you have to be ready for and uh, willing to accept if it happens. Ten seconds. On your feet, on your feet, on your feet. Nice. That's one, brother. Thank you. I'd say the worst one there was probably the headbutt. Oh, shit. I don't remember it. <laughs> nice. Good job. Uh, fighting against is always like fighting a gorilla. But uh, I see it in. Okay. Double stick fights are always more expensive. It's, it's twice the amount of sticks, twice as many hitting. It's, it's far more dangerous um, to be defensive and offensive. And they're done. I mean, anytime we use weapons, uh, there's the chance and likelihood of injury. More so than not. And anyone who comes out of here not injured has had a very, very lucky night. My name is Rio Gavi. I live here in the Silicon Valley area in California. Video games are a huge, huge inspiration in my life. Um, I've been playing since the age of four. I tend to do things that are just on the edge of acceptable. 
and Gentlemen's Fight Club is definitely on that edge, if not completely over it. Oh, dude. Those who are close to me that do know that I fight are very concerned for my safety. Um, and I have been seriously injured. Um, my worst injury at Gentlemen's Fight Club was between myself and Gens. Gens is a cross between a puppy and a bear. When he fights, he doesn't hold back. I remember taking the strike. And I knew it was an elbow because there was one that came before it that I tried to defend myself from. And then the second one came and it was like something shot up my spine. And I said, tap, tap, tap. And I remember rolling over to my back and just agonizing pain, you know, just wincing and just rolling back and forth. I tried to stand up and I couldn't move. The next day it was even worse. I pretty much laid in one position when I got home for about two days, practically paralyzed, unable to walk, unable to really move. Um, it, it was pretty much the most eye-opening experience and one of the worst um, experiences in my life. You know, after I went through all that, um, I, I had a whole month to think about it, you know, is this worth it? What's the point? You know, what am I getting out of it? There's no money, there's no glory. Um, and I do it because I feel above human when I'm there. You know, I know what I'm doing is out of the ordinary, but it's still exciting, it's still interesting to me, and it's still worth it. It's not for everyone, and definitely not for the faint of heart. Coming up. The classic Gentleman's Fight Club keyboard fight involves two men entering and no keyboards leaving. And later, men with purses. We're gonna fill this purse with two pounds of buckshot. It's all just ahead as G4 investigates tech fight clubs. G4. Ah, uh, nice keyboard. All right, let's go. I'll be destroying this in a little bit. The classic Gentleman's Fight Club keyboard fight involves two men entering and no keyboards leaving. We fight until the board is completely removed of all its keys, uh, including space bar, escape key, tab, caps lock, number keys, all that. The keyboards fights tend to last a very long time because there's always one key that's a little stubborn and that L key or that W key or that A key just does not want to leave the board. It just clings on with dear, dear life. Keyboard fights, they will you up. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get hurt. Let's get it on. Yeah. 
I think that's the last key. Oh, oh. All right, keep on check. The four work. Oh, you got the... Got four more keys. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. But you have a lot of key, man. See? <laughs> <laughs> Big enough shots to the head with the keyboard. Kind of rocks you a little bit. I'm a little bit worn right now. I don't feel lightheaded, but I feel um, not exhausted, a little dizzy. Uh, like I've been on a roller coaster ride. Kind of feeling like I don't want to walk around right now. All right, who's up? I think we have just a couple more. How about first fight? The world of the garage fighter and the corporate man are, are, are completely separate. Let's do a can fight, so again, is this soap and towel? All right, soap and towel. We have uh, soap and towel. I try to keep a lid on it at work. You can't talk about this as you would basketball. Oh, no, no, it's, uh, <laughs> bar soap and towel. Pillowcase. When they hear that you fight for a hobby, they think you're a corporate liability. So if I want to keep my job, I can't really talk about it. The idea is really to have almost no protective gear. You know, you have a, a groin cup for down there, and you have a, a protective helmet. Ow! It's not because it's yuppie rules where, you know, anything but the face, but it's more that if you want to swing a weapon at someone and you don't want to lose an eye, you have to have the mask. I think part of the draw is that something really could happen to you. This is fighting. You're hitting another man. Uh, and if there's no risk injury, it's no fun. How about purse fight? These are pretty good. Yeah. It's got a concussion the last time I did a purse fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ladies' purse, most ungentlemanly. Packed with a wallet filled with two pounds of buckshot. This is kind of weird. Can I just get a bag? Well, you think it's weird to have a bag? Can I have a bag and like melt? Like in a purse? Yeah, so. Like you somehow think he's less of a man for carrying a purse? Is no, that no. Purse <laughs> no, like... is no joke. My name is Gallo, and I'm a software engineer, and I'm training for my first fight at Gentleman's Fight Club. I haven't necessarily been in a fight since I've been a teenager. I think it's completely reasonable to deduce that the worst case scenario would be that I would get hurt at some point during the fight. Participating in, in any sort of fight club is the complete opposite from working at a tech company. It's predictable how I'm gonna go to the office in the morning and, and sit in front of the computers and, and look at a list of problems. It's an environment, you know, where you're staring at a, com at a computer and everything's control is under your control. There is no reaction, there is no adrenaline, there's no pressure that that is putting you in the spot to have to make a, a split second decision. Even though I like to be methodical, what, what I probably also enjoy is having uh, having to solve a puzzle in some sort of sense. And, and that's what the fight is. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of pieces in front of me and I'm gonna have to pick and choose which ones I think fit best right in that moment. The training that I've gone through with Genst is, is a key uh, factor in preparing for, for this fight. I like to believe Genst invited me because he saw potential. I think that fighting in the club is definitely an honor. <laughs> Being able to understand how much pain you can take is, is learning about yourself, so it is knowledge. It's a form of knowledge. Being able to understand how much pain you can uh, cause is also, is also knowledge. And I'm confident I'm ready to you know, put it to the test. Coming up. I was doing okay until he figured out how to use the hose. And later, G4 Investigates goes to a fight club on the wrong side of the tracks. 
where techies are looked at as fresh meat. But these guys are for real, you know. They're just like the Hells Angels. I mean, you really don't mess with them. It's all just ahead as G4 investigates tech fight clubs. <laughs> Video game sales in the billions, FTW, the feed starts in 60 seconds. Hi, welcome to Progressive.com. Hey guys, I'm Layla Cayley with The Feed. The economy might be in a slump, but according to the NPD group, video game sales for November totaled almost $3 billion. The high sales volume is attributed to the wide variety of games available and people looking for ways to entertain themselves at home. The video game industry is on track to earn $22 billion in U.S. sales for this year alone. In other news, CBS Interactive drops the hammer on holiday cheer. It is being rumored that nearly 10% of the interactive staff from CNET, CBS.com, CBSNews.com, CBSSports.com and GameSpot received pink slips today. How unfortunate. The CBS Corporation is not commenting at this time. Well, that's all for now. Visit us on the web at G4TV.com slash the feed for more of the news you need to know. I'm Layla Cayley and you've just been fed. to get to learn how to use the pose that I was given, but I got it. Start again. And uh, that's when Milt started feeling it. time you got clocked with that, that purse. Uh, I didn't really realize how heavy it was. It's like your head, like your head almost came off from that purse? No, it was like my center of gravity wasn't been I con for. I don't know. Being the first times I uh, participated in the fight club, I feel pretty good about myself. Uh, it is a lot different than training. Um, definitely a lot less rules after uh, just a little bit of rest or something i'll definitely uh try it again all right good job so what'd you what'd you feel there with this rubber hose um yeah i was doing okay until he figured out how to use the hose <laughs> and then uh he got me that first like whip like in the back i don't know if it hit where rog got me with the stick but then he like did it two more times in the same spot and i did not like that at all <laughs> it's a good fight though uh, well done nice. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, call it a night. Let's wrap it up. For some techies, there's an even darker road to fight night. Leaving the McMansion world of the Gentleman's Fight Club, 
we head into the mean streets just outside of Silicon Valley. This is where veteran engineers and fresh-faced young techies go in secret to fight at the East Bay Rats Clubhouse. The Rats are a motorcycle club with a badass rep for throwing the kind of balls-out fight parties that end in broken bones. Anyone can fight. No one gets mercy. Tonight is their 14th anniversary. Going into a fight, you're scared. There's a chance you might get hurt, and everything in your mind tells you it's a bad situation. No diagonal cutters, no screwdrivers, no ball paint hammers. I'm afraid of getting injured every time I go into the ring. I haven't met a single person that doesn't get nervous. You look in their eyes, they're dilated. You know, you've got all the adrenaline you can muster, like it or not, coursing through your veins. And you should be. You should be afraid. There's a chance you might get hurt. You're going to go do that thing that the adrenaline was designed to help you do. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go! Peekaboo! <laughs> My name's Jason Lockwood. I'm a member of the East Bay Rats Motorcycle Club. Monday through Friday, I'm a full-time dad. I have a full-time job. I work nine to five. Hey. I've been in corporate IT for about 12 years now. I do a pretty much a picket fence lifestyle. I run home every night, bounce the baby boy on the knee, Feed him, change a diaper, put him to bed. And on the odd weekends, I go out and I box some friends in a ring. Five, four, three, two, one, five. I get so many different things out of fighting, it's silly. I fight because it makes me feel like I don't have any responsibility. You feel oddly free while, while swinging back and forth on someone. I can guarantee you, while you're busy boxing someone, you're not thinking about anything else at all. You're, it doesn't even come into play. It's just a non-issue. And you come out the other side, and for a good couple hours, your mind's clear. When I say I'm a non-aggressive fighter, it's a fighting style. It's not a lack of fight. Mostly, I try to stay out of the way, land punches when there's opportunity. Three point, you watch guys swing like three or four times, I'll back up, back up, back up, pop. Most fights end because someone's too tired to continue or they just don't want to take another shot. I mean, it, it hurts like hell. <laughs> the new guys that show up uh, have gotten their asses handed to them. People get knocked out, people get cut all the time. The first time they do it and have no idea what to do. They're just deer in the headlights. My name is Robbie Heinitz. 
Everybody at work calls me Robo. That's my login. I am a Mac admin software systems tech. If somebody needs a program installed or uninstalled, I do that. If something breaks on their computer, I'm the lucky one that gets to fix it. We're all dorks where I work. You know, I, I'm definitely a dork. I'm as normal as it gets. I'm from Atlanta, born and raised there. I've never lived anywhere else. I would say I'm definitely lonely out here, being away from everybody I've really ever known. I came out here with two bags of clothes and just kind of trying to fulfill my own dream. I love video games. Uh, any type of video game, I, I love to play it. Got to find ways to entertain yourself when you're alone. When I heard from a friend about the fight night, you know, I was really excited. I work in the corporate world, and that's fine, uh, but that's not me. I really look forward to getting into that grungy, dirty, fighting feeling. The switch gets turned on, and I'm not just your normal, everyday nice guy anymore. Right now I'm on my way to the party. Um, it's uh, about nine o'clock at night. Um, East Bay Rats Clubhouse is just around the corner. You now that switch is starting to get turned on and uh, it's no more jokes, it's all business now. So it's time to do it. Coming up. Being new to the fighting world, I think I'm often underestimated, especially because of my job. This should be a bloodbath. <laughs> That's next. You By day, Sonic runs rings around the world. But when night falls, things get a little hairy. Sonic Unleashed. The difference is night and day. Rated everyone 10 and up. Getting an edge. Wrong end of the joystick, stuck up in the handhold. You're in line for a pitfall, kid, you get on. In terms of your two player mastery, Weak. this is once per scan line, not height and seek. And I'm the pride of geeks who are shameless and brazen in this snobbery over whose console is most ancient and most Asian. Bootleg or legit, emulated rear projection on the side of a blimp. Elevated, point up, point out the pixels, but don't miss your button finger with for snap of this old rapper. We'll talk your score with his best. For a lot already did a Polaroid of the test. It's a nerd's world. <laughs> I was really ecstatic when I uh, heard about the East Bay Rats having these fight parties. You would never really suspect me for somebody that would be doing this. A bunch of my friends back home when I told them, they were like, you know, WTF, you know, uh, <laughs> what the hell's going on? But that's what I really like about it, you know? I don't care if you're the biggest guy or the smallest guy in the world. I think every man wants to fight. I think it's, you know, encoded into our DNA. You know, that, that's what testosterone is for, is for you to flex your muscle and, and, and to show everybody, you know, I'm the real deal. Yeah, I'm fine next. I'm trying to. How do you feel about it? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm a little nervous, yeah. but I'm feeling pretty confident. Kendall. Oh! <laughs> That's a tough one. Come on, come on. The last time I saw him fight, he was drunk. Yeah. 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 It's too early for him to be drunk. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> The 
these guys are for real, you know. They're just like the Hells Angels. I mean, you really don't mess with them. I'm looking forward to this. I have been for weeks now, and, and, and this moment is upon me. I'm stoked, I, I, I'm anxious, I'm nervous, I, I'm just pumped, really. It's gonna be a chance to see what I can do against some of the toughest people in Oakland. But I do not want to get my ass kicked. Like Web 2.0, I'm futuristic when I flow. You're old school like Nescape, your blog is corny and slow. I dial up and flip the script on your BBS server. I'm talking so much trash that, that I crashed the burner. On your FTP Citadel, I heard you got bombed. By a tell that hacker who was chilling with his mom. You're so antiquated, they should call you out the Vista. Go back to the 90s with Nirvana, Bart, and Lisa. My DS Center reconnects with every boy and girl. Might as well face it. It's a nerd's world. I really think it's about confidence. Say, you know, I'm willing to get hit and I'm willing to hit somebody else. And, and once you conquered that fear, then you can do it. Being somebody that's new to the fighting world, uh, I think I'm often underestimated, especially because of my job. This should be a bloodbath. Yeah. 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 Are you ready? first got hit it was a wake-up call you know you, you really tell you know okay I, I gotta do this I'm either about to you know get my ass kicked or I'm about to kick this guy's ass Yeah, my legs are like...
Chill. You're doing good. He has no win. Yeah. 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 Keep his head up the whole time he hits you. Mr. Ailey, I love you too, brother. Breathe a lot, man. Breathe a lot. Get some air. <laughs> it felt damn good to hit somebody. <laughs> nah, I get in trouble for it. Hey, Kendall's a tough son of a bitch though. It hits hard. It hits real hard. <laughs> You know, you really, you really can't get this feeling at work or anywhere else in my normal life. You know, fighting and doing what I think as men, you know, that we're all destined to experience at least once. Um, it's a great feeling. It's unique, it really is. It's the longest six minutes of my life. day-to-day -day life of the average American office worker is sanitized, anesthetized. You can't say this, you can't say that. Everything is prepared for you. You have to look a certain way and your behavior is restricted. I'd say in modern society, there isn't like a formal rite of passage. How do you become a man? I don't know. What do we have, a driver's license? This is kind of like a, a transformation for most of the guys that have just been, I don't know, raised in a feminine world. I get so many different things out of fighting. If I were to boil it down, it would probably be the camaraderie and the test. What can I do and how much can I take? And can I separate that need from a point of rage or anger? You would never think that people such as us would get down and dirty and fight it out and bash people, you know, each other's heads across with keyboards and pipes and sticks. Uh, by looking at us on the street. And we look like everyday, average, you know, mild-mannered people you know, who go to work, who sit you know, in traffic, and come home and eat dinners with their families. I've seen much dorkier people than I fight. I've seen much cooler looking people than I fight. It doesn't matter where you're from or, or what you do for a living. It's, it's, you're there for one reason, and that's to fight. And it, it, it's amazing. Ah, it's awesome. I, <laughs> You just got to have the balls to do it.